Five of these seven devices are running Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chipset, and all seven of them incorporate TSMC's four nanometer process. So today we'll find out which is most efficient and which phone can endure the longest between the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, Oppo Find X6 Pro, OnePlus 11, Honor Magic 5 Pro, Huawei P60 Pro, and iPhone 14 Pro Max in this extremely detailed 100 to 0% battery life drain test. All phones have been set to the exact same brightness level using a lux meter. They have all been updated to their latest available software updates. They are all SIM free and only connected via Wi-Fi. They are all using 120 hertz LTPO displays and they have all been set to their native resolutions. Will the iPhone continue its win streak or will one of these Android flagships finally make their way to the top? This is Tech Nick and without further ado, let's find out. Before we get things underway, it's worth making sure that all phones are set to 100%, which they are since they've all been plugged in charge for a few hours now. We'll be using an infrared heat gun throughout the test between each time interval to test our temperatures, and we'll be sitting at a room temperature of around 19 degrees Celsius throughout the test. Now we are checking temperatures at the start, but since they're all plugged in charge, it's not really relevant to this video. But for those of you interested, the Honor is the hottest in terms of charging temps, and the Samsung is the coolest, which will most likely change while we start draining. Now talking about draining, hitting that start timer phone on the right hand side, we do have a time interval at the top right hand corner that is a relation to the percentages below the branding of the phones and below that we do have the temperatures which is also in relation to that time interval at the bottom right corner we do have the current app that we're currently running on all devices and below each device we do have their specs in case you're a little rusty after the 30 minute mark interval we have 100 percent on the xiaomi the oppo the iPhone and the OnePlus, and we have 90%, 97% on the Samsung, which is trailing the pack, as well as 98% on the Honor, and 99% just below the 100% mark is the Huawei P60 Pro. Now, just to let you guys know, all of these phones are set to their native resolution for a reason, because Full HD, setting them to Full HD really doesn't make a difference at all in terms of battery performance, since I've tested phones out, hundreds of phones throughout 30 different battery drain tests in my channel's history and I've never noticed the difference between Full HD Plus or WQHD Plus resolution. Many of you have commented on my previous drain test saying that that phone is not pushing as many pixels as the other phone and that is why it's draining quicker. That is not true at all and there's a lot of videos out there that prove that it's not true and honestly sometimes with native resolution you actually push out a couple extra minutes as well when it comes to battery drain test. After the one hour and 30 minute mark interval we have 87% on the Xiaomi, 88% on the Samsung which is beating the Xiaomi. 90% on the Oppo, which is beating the Samsung, 92 on the OnePlus, which is beating the Oppo, 91% on the Honor, which is trailing the OnePlus, 93% on the Huawei, which is on par with the iPhone, which is impressive to say the least. We're currently running through Facebook Live TV right now, hitting that two hour mark interval. We have 83% on the Xiaomi, 85 on the Samsung, 87 on the Oppo, 88 on the OnePlus, which is matching the Honor, and the Huawei is slightly behind the iPhone now with 90% as opposed to the iPhone's 91%. We're running a video loop on Twitter at the moment. And I also just wanted to mention to you guys that all of these devices are set to 100% battery health. None of them have been used as my daily drivers whatsoever. So they're all good to go to get perfect battery life and accurate screen on times within this video. Two hours and 30 minute mark time interval, we have 79% on the Xiaomi trailing the pack. The S23 Ultra is sitting on 82%. Above that is the Oppo with 83%. Above that is the OnePlus with 84%, which is matching the Honor with 84%, 86% on the Huawei P60 Pros in second place, as opposed to the iPhone's first position with 87%, which is once again, very impressive. Now, of course, when it comes to iPhones, they have a very good track record when it comes to my battery drain test personally within my channel. And on that point, I have to mention to you guys that yes, you can for sure compare these results to all other results within all of my drain test videos within my channel, but you can't compare them to other channels because other channels use different brightness levels and they use different apps, so on and so forth. But I keep everything the same. I've always kept all my apps exactly the same, all the brightness levels throughout the years exactly the same. So you can definitely compare these to previous generation smartphones. And talking about predecessors, we'll be getting to that at the end and comparing it to those as well. So stay tuned for that one. Three hours and 30 minutes, we have 69% on the Xiaomi, 75 on the Samsung, really quite ahead of the Xiaomi now, even though the Samsung has the same 5,000 milliamp power cell as the Xiaomi and the Oppo and the OnePlus, the OnePlus is actually on par with the Samsung, but above that is the Honor since it has the largest 5,100 milliamp hour cell and the Honor is still 
quite high now in second place, actually only second to that of the iPhone with 77% and the Honor has actually overtaken the Huawei with 73% on the four hour mark interval. Now we're currently running selfie video recording at 1080p 30fps and the reason for 1080p 30fps is because I wanna keep it exactly the same as my previous videos and phones from a couple years ago were capped at 1080p 30fps selfie video recording. And there are two phones here that are also capped at 1080p 30fps selfie video recording. Take a second to guess. You are quite right. It is the Oppo and the OnePlus are both capped at 1080p 30fps. The others can pretty much reach 60 FPS on 1080p or even 4K, but the Oppo and OnePlus are down by quite a bit. Now, when it comes to main video recording, we are setting them all to 4K 30 FPS video recording. They can all hit 4K 60 FPS, some of them even 8K video, but since I wanna keep them exactly the same as previous videos, we'll be sticking to the same procedure here. After the five hour mark interval, the only two phones underneath 50% is the Xiaomi 13 Ultra with 48% and the Oppo Find X6 Pro with 48%, 55% on the Samsung, which is matching the OnePlus of 55%, but above both of those is the Honor with its bigger battery hitting 60%, 53% trailing the Samsung and the OnePlus is the Huawei, and 61% is the iPhone, which is ahead of the pack, but only ahead of the Honor by just 1%. And yes, I know the iPhone does have a smaller battery than all of the other devices over here, and it is quite a lot smaller, but iPhone's processing it's just done so well and it's so well optimized that it always performs well within all of my drain tests. So it's no surprise to see it doing quite well here. What I am very surprised to see is the Honor Magic 5 Pro is actually ahead of the iPhone right now for the first time in this test, 50%, 2% ahead and after the six hour mark interval, 42% on the Honor as opposed to 37% on the iPhone, it is 5% ahead of the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is a first when it comes to my drain test. iPhones are always ahead and we did just run through an hour of benchmarks to simulate high performance gaming because I don't have seven hands to play seven games on seven different phones. So we run the benchmarks not to deplete it quicker, not to deplete them quicker, but to actually simulate high performance gaming such as PUBG Mobile, or Call of Duty Mobile, Genshin Impact, so on and so forth. Six and a half hours now, 12% left on the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, 27% on the Samsung, 17% on the Oppo, 22% on the OnePlus, 37%, still 5% ahead of the iPhone is the Honor, and 24% on the Huawei, which is also impressing me quite a bit here since it's using last year's Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 CPU, which is actually a 4G chipset, and reaching that seven hour mark interval, they all reach seven hours now, seven hours is fantastic screen on time. Five hours is good, six hours is great, seven hours is fantastic, eight hours is insane, and nine hours, over nine hours of screen on time is out of this world incredible. So we'll see which devices can get to that most of the time the iPhone reaches nine hours. It will be really interesting to see if the Honor can make it there since it's actually 3% ahead of the iPhone. But the iPhone tends to do quite well near the end of the test. Now, the Xiaomi on seven hours and 23 minutes went into hibernation mode with 1% left in the tank. And as soon as you hit exit, it automatically turns off the device and you cannot turn it back on. So seven hours, 23 minutes is the result that we got for the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, which is not quite as good as the 12S Ultra or the Xiaomi 13 Pro. More on that at the end of the test, so stay tuned for that one. But it had the hottest peak of 66.1 degrees in Celsius. And on that note, Xiaomi's usually overheat quite a bit, but this device, the Xiaomi 13 Ultra, only overheated once throughout this whole video, which is really good to see because most of the time they overheat like 20, 30 times when I run benchmarks to simulate high performance gaming. And this only overheated once, but it's still got a peak of 66 degrees Celsius, which is just too hot, especially considering it's running a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. After eight hours, all of these devices made it to the eight hour mark, other than the Xiaomi 13 Ultra 12 left in the tank of the S23 Ultra, 2% on the Oppo, 5% on the OnePlus. So you would think the Oppo would die before the OnePlus. And is that gonna happen? Which one is gonna make it? The OnePlus actually died quicker than the Oppo at eight hours and 16 minutes. But while testing the temperature of the OnePlus, the Oppo died. And they both have very similar specs, you know, Oppo and OnePlus and their whole collaboration going over there. They both made it to eight hours and 16 minutes, which is insane battery life and they both have the same milliamp hour per minute reading and percentage per minute reading as well. Not long after that, the Huawei P60 Pro made it to eight hours and 26 minutes. Then I tried to check if it was dead and it turned back on. That took a minute and then it lasted an extra minute. So from that eight hours and 26 minutes, I just added an extra minute and it got eight hours and 27 minutes, which is very impressive for a Huawei device running on last year's Qualcomm chipset. Eight hours and 30 minutes, 
Only three phones made it to that interval, that being the Samsung, the Honor, and the iPhone. And the Honor is actually taking the lead here with 15%, 6% on the Samsung, and 14% on the iPhone. It looks like it's gonna be a battle between the Honor and the iPhone. For the first time in history, I've actually seen an Android device, a flagship Android device, go neck and neck with an Apple. And after eight hours and 52 minutes, the Samsung Galaxy S23 knocks out, which is incredible to say the least, less than 10 milliamp hour per minute drain, which is absolutely fantastic though the last test it reached about eight hours and 54 minutes so only two minutes down since the previous test identical to that one nine hours the honor magic 5 pro hit nine hours that is insane and which one is gonna make it to the 10 hour mark interval if any the honor is currently above the iphone but the iphone has been the coolest throughout the test which actually aids in battery drain efficiency and the honor dies after nine hours and 28 minutes, guys. I mean, I'm sad to see it not beat the iPhone because iPhones always come out on top, but the fact that an Android device reached over nine hours and went an extra 30 minutes is ridiculously insane. I'm not sure if you watched my review video on the Honor Magic 5 Pro, but I said, this is the phone that everyone will buy because it is so well-rounded and this battery life drain test just proves that. Now we're reaching the 10 hour mark interval. Can the iPhone make it? No, it cannot. Just shy of it, nine hours and 54 minutes for the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is absolutely incredible. The best I've seen from the 14 Pro Max since I got it due to that new iOS 16.5 updates. And it's just blown me away once again, but that honor has blown me away even more than I could have imagined. In seventh place, we have the Xiaomi 13 Ultra. And though it placed last, it's still got a whopping seven hours and 23 minutes of screen on time, which is still fantastic in my books, thanks to that massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery. The OnePlus 11 has the same sized battery, but managed to go over eight hours, all the way up to eight hours and 16 minutes with the same size 5,000 milliamp hour cell as the Oppo Find X6 Pro. And the Oppo only died a few seconds after the OnePlus. So fifth and sixth place is very questionable over there. It still did a great job in terms of battery life. Now in fourth place, we have the Huawei P60 Pro. Fantastic, eight hours and 27 minutes. Quite a bit longer lasting than the previous two considering it has a smaller 4,815 milliamp hour battery. And the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has a 5,000 milliamp hour cell and placed third over here. Last test I did a place second, but it's still got eight hours and 52 minutes, almost nine hours of screen on time, which is the best we've ever seen from Samsung. Now in second place, we have the Honor Magic 5 Pro, which impressed me more than any other Android device in the history of my channel. Nine hours and 28 minutes with a 5,100 milliamp hour battery. And of course, once again, the iPhone claims first position here with almost 10 hours of screen on time and the smallest 4,323 milliamp hour battery of the lot. Now in terms of temperatures, the Xiaomi, once again, Xiaomi, 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 they always hit high temperatures. It got a whopping peak of 66.1 degrees in Celsius. And the coolest here was, of course, once again, the iPhone. Now, if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, having a look at their previous tests, I've only previously tested out the S23 Ultra, the OnePlus 11, and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. The iPhone last time out got nine hours and 15 minutes on iOS 16.3.1. iOS 16.5 seems to be a lot more efficient, pushing it all the way up to nine hours and 54 minutes, which is great. The OnePlus Plus last time out did quite a bit better with eight and a half hours as opposed to eight hours and 16 minutes. And the Samsung was pretty much identical with eight hours and 52 minutes this time, as opposed to eight hours and 54 minutes last time out. Now, if we have a look even below that at their predecessor scores, the Xiaomi uh, was kind of on par with its siblings, the 12S Ultra and the 13 Pro. The Samsung is a lot better than its predecessor. The Oppo is also quite a bit better than its predecessor. And the same goes for the OnePlus. The Honor is ridiculously ahead of its predecessor, almost three hours ahead of its predecessor, the Magic 4 Pro. And the Huawei did do quite a bit better than the Mate 50 Pro, which I recently tested in battery drain, which got seven hours and 39 minutes, but it didn't do quite as well as its Kirin Run P50 Pro brother, which got over nine hours. And the iPhone is even better than its predecessor, which got nine and a half hours, which is already great. Almost 10 hours is just damn fantastic. Now, if they all had the exact same sized battery, if you take a look at the bottom of each device here, of course, the Xiaomi, Samsung, Oppo, and OnePlus all have a 5,000 milliamp hour cell. So we'll scratch those out. They all stayed at the same time, but the Honor would have dropped down to 5,000 milliamp hours since it has a larger battery at 5,100 milliamp hours. It would still have the same placement, but slightly lower nine hours and 17 minutes. If the Huawei had a 5,000 milliamp hour cell, it would bump up to eight hours and 47 minutes. And if the iPhone had a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, it would hit 
over 11 hours, all the way up to 11 hours and 27 minutes. So as I always say at the end of every single battery drain test, if Apple just popped in a larger cell battery, 5,000 milliamp hours or higher in their next iPhone model, hopefully the next iPhone 15, Pro Max or 15 Ultra, I guess you could say, if they did that with their optimizations, they would hit over 11 hours, which would just be game changing completely for flagship devices. I'm talking about flagship devices. And speaking about flagship devices, Honor have done something incredible this year. Now, Honor have pretty much almost taken over Huawei, I guess you could say in this segment, since it offers very good software, identical to Huawei software, but with all Google apps and we got nine and a half hours of screen on time on the Honor, which actually came out on top of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is absolutely incredible to say the least. That said, I hope that you all enjoyed watching this video as much as I did making it. This is Tech Nick and I'll catch you in the next one.